quarter right throttle, back. guys. Floating it, floating it. Wow, oh, look at that sit. Nice. So let me introduce this, guys, this fan flight. We are here at Dalton Municipal Airport on a Saturday, about a month before our show, which is coming soon, the Jolly Good Flying. I'll put a link in the description of this video. But I got Danny Colasso, the only other Italian I found in Georgia thus far, a uh, member, who's a member of CCRC, my club, bunch of other clubs around here. And, you know, we've been having so much fun flying, and we came out here again just to get one more sort of final dry run of, uh, you know, the layout of where the show's gonna be. We expect a lot of people to show up for this event, so definitely come out. But right now, we're gonna fly the F-18, and Danny put it on an 80 mil because it comes with that option. So let's see him fly it, Danny. You let's do it. it, man. We are flying. Danny, you're flying on what? This is, these are HRB's uh, Success 5000s. And the current motor in here is the 80 millimeter. Uh, this was the ARF Plus. Now, what made you put the 80 mil? You just had an 80 I, millimeter, yeah, so you I, said, I, "Let's go for it." That's correct. I had a spare 80 millimeter from a from a wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. no, recycle. Yep, yep, yep. And I said, you know, one day it's going to find some use. And then when I saw the preview for this come out, and they gave the option for 80 or 90, I said, "That's going to be my bird." Nice. Now, I've seen it fly once already, and it. Seemed like it flew really well. It does. It doesn't have it the does. speed that you. No. Yeah. It definitely has the punch out uh, for it, but uh, the overall top speed, I'd say it's probably about 10 mile an hour less than the 90 millimeter version. Gotcha. Um, and that's on a straight, straight flight. And the battery is all the way forward on the on the tray here uh, to get the CG just right. Yeah, because obviously the 80 is going to lower your tail weight. Correct. Yep. <clears throat> Looks good though. I like the simple. Golden Dragons scheme didn't have to paint yeah. the yeah, thanks to Cali verts or anything. Yeah. This, Daddy, you know what? Next time I'm flying as again, is. Uh, there's I'm no gyro. Um, Hold on, Bubba. <laughs> Hold on. So, so I, I fly as is, no gyro. Um, yeah. I'm not big on the expo and, and different settings like that. I just kind of kind of wing it. You just fly it. I just fly it. Just send it. If it flies, it flies. If it crashes, it crashes. <laughs> That was a lot of full flap. You, you don't land with full. Have no, you ever tried? No. no. Yeah, I just usually do half flap on this one for some reason. It'll walk out a little bit. And I'm not sure if it's because of the 80 millimeter, but on the full flap, there is a lot of uh, down pitch on the nose. Okay. So the half flap helps out tremendously. All right. So, All right. Zoom in. Let me just get my focus and you're ready to roll. All right. Let's rock and roll. Taking off right to left. Or left to right. Excuse me. Nice. That was probably just the wind. Yeah. Right on the runway. So that's full throttle right now. And like I said, it's uh. He's like the L39. It's it's kind of you know? yeah. It's I, got that same power system, right? Correct. Yep. Running a 100 amp speed controller. Here it comes. That's great. I mean, I if you have the option, if you had an 80 laying around, you didn't want to spend the money. And, and this I, is and this is running uh, 11 blades. And I think the reason that this can fly on an 82 is because unlike your favorite, the F-15, they didn't put in all that extra weight. You Correct. Know? They didn't put the air brake actuator, all the servos for the doors. It's a really light airplane. Airframe. Yeah, those skies are dark over there. We've been in and out of sun, but... Woo! Your timer's about, what, 3.30? Yeah. Nice. That's pretty comfortable, but, you know, I, I hammered the throttle about half the flight. Sweet. Well, it sounds like we got a real scale bird oh, yeah. firing up, so we're going right. to go red. We are going red. Which means a real aircraft is going to take off at this real airport, so we got to get our model aircraft out of the sky. All right, gears are down and half laps are on. 
even though our aircraft is more impressive. <laughs> really? We should we should have the sky. Quarter throttle, guys. Floating it, floating it. Wow! Look at that sit. Nice. And he had to do that under under duress. Yeah. Because <laughs> we got to get out of here from a I think a Cessna is firing up. But yeah, wheels are nice and loose, so this thing will roll for days <laughs> yeah. on, on a landing. That's for sure. That happened on our flight reviews with Patrick. Like perfect landing at one end of the runway, and it just. Kept going to the other end. And uh, that's the, where the air brake might help. Right. And one <laughs> of the main differences too is that since this is 80 millimeter, this is only running the 100 amp ESC setup. So keep in mind with that as far as uh, high voltage batteries or, um, or servos and other electronics that use a lot more amps or volts. Um, if you want to upgrade it, that's great. If not, as you can see, this is the stock setup and it works just fine. Awesome. Danny, thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Guys, that's the F 18. First time I've seen it on an 80. So if you got an 80 laying around and you're looking for an airframe to put it in, the F-18 is going to work. Awesome. Like, share, and subscribe, guys, and we'll see you in a little bit.